welcome back to another YouTube video and welcome to day one of Vlogmas. I have been waiting so long to finally start Vlogmas. Today is actually the day before. Today is Wednesday, November 30th. I'm filming this today so that I can get this first vlog live tomorrow for December 1st. So you'll be watching this on the true day one of Vlogmas. And... I just can't believe that it's already the holiday season. I've been like talking about this since I was back in Paris. And here we are at Vlogmas. How this is going to go is each day of December from every day of December from December 1st to Christmas Eve, I'm going to be vlogging. So it's going to be quite a busy month, but I'm really excited for it. I started the day off right this morning. I got up early at 7 a.m. I went to the gym, I walked on the treadmill, I had a healthy breakfast and I got ready. I think I'm also going to do this the same way that I did last year, where instead of uploading a vlog every single day, I am going to vlog every single day and then upload as often as I possibly can. Hopefully this will be a really fun month of lots of Christmas things and it's going to be Christmas in New York. It's Christmas in New York City. so. Um, starting with today, the big plan is to, I actually took the day off today, <laughs> so I'm going to go around the city, I'm going to see all of the Christmas sites, and just kind of take you around on like a New York City Christmas Vlogmas. Also in general, every day, I'm going to be, dun dun dun, opening something from the Dior Advent Calendar. So I have been waiting for this for so long. By the way, thank you so much to the people that commented and told me not to take this back in my carry-on. Very, very smart. There's, There probably are liquids in here that, you know, maybe all together are too big, or I know that candles always get flagged going through security, and I think there might be a candle in here. I mean, like, just, like, the, I didn't want to like risk it the chances and have ruin the beautiful Dior advent calendar by having to rip it apart early in the security line at the airport so thank you to you guys who commented I actually wouldn't have even thought of that so I really 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 appreciate it but yes yeah, so I got this in Paris the pricing in Paris is obviously so much better than it is in the US so I took advantage of that and I also got the VAT on it as well Oh, just love shopping in Paris. So anyways, we're every day going to be opening up something from this. And I think every day I might be wearing a red lipstick as well because that was a tradition that I started last year. I love red, red lipstick around the holidays. I own many red lipsticks. So the first one I'm starting off with is a very, very classic feminine, just like true like red. It's the Rouge Dior 999. So yeah, Dior 999 for today. Perfect one to start off with. And yay, let's open the Dior calendar. Okay, so first of all, there is this little pouch in the front. So I just wanna see what this is. Dior here on the front. Advent calendar, the Fantastic Constellations. At night, stretched in the magical Dior gardens, looking north, I gaze up to the constellations around the North Star that seem to play in the twinkling sky. And then it says, For the holiday season, Dior invites you on a dreamlike and enchanting journey to the heart of 30 Avenue Montagne, where the atelier of dreams comes to life beneath the show of constellations. So this reminds me of in Paris, they have the Dior gallery. It's like a Dior museum where Dior's for like Monsieur Dior's first atelier was. And it's just really beautiful. And you can kind of look down and you see where his like office was, dressing room for the models. And it's just really beautiful and really interesting. So I love that the, to know the inspiration of where this year's advent calendar calendar came from so what's a magnet dun 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 wow that is truly really beautiful so let's find door number one there we go oh my gosh this is a very famous perfume from dior it's called j'adore and this was actually in the dior museum it's very fruity and floral and it has rose and jasmine in it and this gold neck is meant to be like a necklace uh, around a woman's neck 
so it's very beautiful. I love how this is a tiny little travel size version of it. Tip it upside down like that. Ooh. Yeah, and it is very light and floral and very beautiful and feminine. This is going to be so exciting every morning opening up one of these. Before I step outside, I wanted to show you guys the coat that I'm wearing because I absolutely love it. It's this pink poncho and it's just, to me, it seems like the most like feminine, cute thing for the holidays. It's got this self-tie wrap detail that I've tied in a bow here. And then it has this like super fluffy faux fur collar and detail at the end of the sleeves. And uh, yeah, it just wraps around kind of like that. I don't know, it just reminded me of like a really kind of chic, sophisticated like holiday look and with the red lip and everything too. I will leave this pink poncho linked down below. Bergdorf Goodman and one of the things that I love about New York City at Christmas time that really just makes it feel so magical is how all of the big department stores put out magical Christmas windows for the holidays and I love the Saks ones and Bergdorf's are always amazing so I thought that we would <laughs> start here and I'd show you guys the Bergdorf's windows because I love doing this every year because I know not everyone is going to travel to New York to see it. So for anyone that can't come, I will show you that right now. All right, so here is the very first window. And this seems like a very shoe and bag focused window, which is so fun and sparkly. That champagne bottle. Wow, it's so pretty. Look at those Louboutin shoes. Well, coming past this window here. Oh, this one is really cool. It's like turned on its side. It almost feels like an optical illusion a little bit. And that looks like, I don't know if that's meant to be Linda Fargo, but it kind of looks like it. it kind of looks like her with that haircut. This kind of reminds me in The Grinch where they kind of go in the back and they have the sorting machine and everything. It's kind of the, the feeling that it's giving off. Very whimsical, very colorful, and of course, a good pair of shoes. It's almost like a Christmas storybook. Wow. All right, next window. Some fabulous ladies in gorgeous white and silver dresses. Gorgeous. Next window. This reminds me almost of Edward Scissorhands meets Alice in Wonderland. Because um, you've got this girl in a fabulous mini dress with a big pair of scissors. <laughs> and then those like, they almost look like Alice in Wonderland uh, kind of characters at the top. See there's a big clock there. Got an upholsterer here, um, an architect, a jeweler, a painter. So I guess, what's this one? A florist. So I guess just maybe it's paying homage to different types of artists. Going around the corner now. Wow, this one's instrument. So this is focused on music. And I just, I'm amazed by how they did this with all of the, like how they strung everything up. And like how it's mirrored in this dog. That is so adorable. Okay. Next window. Very pink again. Whimsical. This looks like it's meant to be inside of a store because you've got the ladder and different like products kind of on the shelves, like a pillow and a little tag there that says clearance. Hello. <laughs> Miniature window here. I love a sparkly shoe for the holidays. 
This one is a big green one. It looks very Wizard of Oz to me. This is Marc Jacobs. These are the Kardashian-Jenner family collectibles. So, some sparkly bags there. This one's like a red, black, and white theme. Sewing machine that's bedazzled. An iron, a book, a really big sewing machine. Uh, a needle and thread. Clearly this is a seamstress. This one is meant to be a celebration of mosaic. So if you look closely, these are like mosaic tiles, all this beading, these beautiful giraffes, and a gorilla, and a bear, and a monkey, so very cool. This is Carolina Herrera and Alice and Olivia. <laughs> it's like a big fuzzy nutcracker. And then I think that's it for the Christmas windows. So I came inside now because <laughs> of the rain. It's so much nicer and warm and cozy in here and it's beautiful. They have this big beautiful Christmas tree in the middle and lots of sparkly bags out. So I'm just gonna look around in here for a bit. It's just so beautiful in there and the windows were totally magical. I was looking around at all the sparkly things and the shoes and the bags and it was just beautiful. And then now I have come to Angelina, which is a famous cafe in Paris and they're known for their hot chocolate. Oh gosh, you guys have to try this. It's, uh, it's very rich and it has this like almost, it's not too sweet of a taste, it's very good, it's the best hot chocolate. And it's so like rich and decadent that you have to get like the smallest cup. I could even do like half a cup the size of it because it's, it's basically like drinking like liquid chocolate. <laughs> um, but it's very, very good. So I got that and a Caesar salad and of course a croissant and I'm just going to have a little lunch by myself. eating by myself so it's good to have a little lunch there it's almost 2 p.m. now and the Angelina I went to is in um, Bryant Park so it says welcome to Bryant Park I'm walking up 
to Bryant Park now because they have a Christmas market similar to the one in Union Square. I'm gonna flip you around. Dun da da da. Alright, so this is such a great place to get Christmas gifts and they also have food and stuff too, like fresh cider donuts. And they have a big ice skating rink in the middle. Right behind it, that building there, is the New York Public Library. And it's actually really beautiful inside. So, and I love this fountain. So I'm just gonna kinda walk around and uh, explore a little bit. to just <laughs> get out of the way, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm turning this rain on uh, Vlogmas Day 1 into a positive thing. Um, so I'm gonna walk up Fifth Avenue now. I wanna show you guys the Rockefeller tree. It's Today is actually the day of the tree lighting, which isn't going to happen until tonight, but they might be setting up for it and stuff, so I figured we can just walk up there and take a look at it. But before we do, we have to stop at one of my favorite stores, which is, of course, Zara. I just, I'm a, I'm, I can't resist Zara. I feel like Zara is my weak, like, what do you call it? My, like, weak spot? I don't know. I have a weak spot for Zara. So I'm gonna pop in here. I actually have some, like, company, like, holiday parties. I have my company's holiday party, and then I'm going to be going to Lyle's company's holiday party. So I need to look for cute holiday party outfits. I'm just gonna pop in the bar. Oh, 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 
Fifth Avenue. This is where they usually have a big light show. It turns on at night. And obviously they have really nice windows too. And then right around the corner here is the tree. As you can see, it's not lit up yet, but let's get a little bit closer so that we can see it. They're definitely setting up for the show later. You can see all the camera equipment and stuff. Usually there's performances and everything, but I wonder how that's gonna happen with all the rain. You can see all the lights and stuff. lit up this is all gonna be super crowded so I feel like today was the perfect day although it isn't lit up yet but we'll come back and see it once it's lit up um, but yeah tonight's the big show oh also right behind the tree right here is FAO Schwartz right there and that's a pretty um, yeah 160 years of toys it says It's a pretty like historical toy store and it didn't used to be here in Rockefeller Plaza. It used to have a different location um, on Fifth Avenue, but they're famous for this life-size piano that you can dance on and it's in a movie. <laughs> Sorry, there's so much rain. All right, back safe in my apartment now. <laughs> that was a really nice day. I'm really glad that I did that. I just, every time that it starts to become the holiday season, I'm just like have this feeling of like, <gasps> I have to go to Midtown and I have to see all of the holiday stuff. <laughs> um, I don't really spend that much time in Midtown outside of like, you know, just a regular day. But during the holiday season, that is like the center of all of like the Christmas stuff. So that was really nice and I feel like I really made the most of it. Also. This coat, the one that I showed you this morning, I got so many compliments on it. <laughs> like every single store that I went into, every Christmas market, every, like people on the streets, people on the subway, like every single person loved this jacket. It's really affordable too. I think that it was only like $60, which for a jacket is actually pretty good. Um, someone just now called it, they're like, that coat though, they were like, it's like a Barbie's coat. And I was like, yeah, I guess so. But yeah, so just cute, girly, fun um, holiday coat. So I will um, definitely leave that linked. But yeah, I guess the rest of the night, I'm just going to kind of enjoy sort of a cozy day in for the rest of the day. I have some packages in front of me. I think these are some Black Friday orders. You know, I don't even know what I ordered anymore. You know when like, this one almost seems to be packaged by a person, just like the way that it was wrapped. So I honestly don't even remember anymore what is what. So I'm just going to open this. Okay, I think that I figured out why this one seems, seems like it was wrapped by a person. Because it was, because it's from Etsy. It is a tree skirt. I was searching for a cute tree skirt and I found this one on Etsy. I haven't ran this by Lyle yet. <laughs> um, I don't think that he knows that I ordered this, so I'm gonna have to ask him if he's okay with it. But basically, it's like a white kind of quilted tree skirt and I don't know I just thought that it was nice let's see it kind of comes like that where you sort of tie it here into the ribbons it just helps with like you know pine needles falling and it just looks better at the base of the tree um and this one's actually is pretty small it's very good quality it's like it feels like an actual quilt so that's nice I love a good Etsy find I now have this package. I always double check that it says my name on it because like, you know, I don't want to accidentally open up my neighbor's mail. Uh, lights. So also for the tree, I got one, two, three, maybe four. Yeah. 
four sets of tree lights. So tree lights being the ones that are green because that way they're like camouflaged into the tree. And when my parents were here, I told them that it was a thousand lights and they said that I needed four packs of them. So I ordered, ordered on Amazon four packs. So whenever it, we get the tree, I'll be all ready to decorate it. Uh, one package left. This one is from Amazon. And I believe that this is the tree stand. Because I can't think of what else I ordered on Amazon. So I guess this is like a, a Christmas tree haul. It is the tree stand. So here it is. There were so many different stands. I ended up going with this one because it looked strong enough. In the picture, it was holding a big size tree. And so, yeah, I just wanted one that was going to be sturdy enough to hold the big tree and that would also hold the water. And I liked that it was this lighter color because I feel like that with the tree skirt over it, um, hopefully it won't be too, like, you know, it'll all just look seamless and nice. Yeah. and. <laughs> That's everything, I guess. I think this weekend we're hopefully um, going to pick out a tree. So we'll do that and decorate it and everything. But yay, Vlogmas is like really, really getting going now. <laughs> All right, so now for dinner, I've made a very, I would say, easy, healthy, simple dinner, which <laughs> consists of some brown rice and some roasted vegetables. I'm actually about to take it. Alright, so <laughs> I basically just made the rice as you would always make rice. It's just some brown rice. And then the roasted vegetables are just vegetables that I had. Sorry, <laughs> these are these are um, up in mitts. They're actually wild. But anyways, um, so the roasted vegetables are just vegetables that I had sitting in my refrigerator it really doesn't matter but I just toss them in some olive oil salt and pepper and garlic powder so like really simple and easy so I have here some broccoli cauliflower onions butternut squash zucchini and some mushrooms and so yeah I'm just going to um, put that into a bowl and maybe drizzle a little bit more olive oil and salt and pepper on it and just have that for dinner sit on the couch and just have a cozy, simple, relaxed night. I actually, about an hour ago, was just checking my DMs on Instagram, and I saw that I got an invite to like a holiday party tonight from a brand that messaged me, and they messaged me about it yesterday, so it was kind of last minute, and it says, feel free to bring friends, so I messaged I like texted my friend uh, Jess to see if she wanted to go and she was actually in a workout class when I texted her and she's like oh so sorry I just saw this and it's too late now because it already started but um I was just like kind of happy about it because I secretly just want to stay home tonight um it, I thought that it would have been fun to like you know meet some new people and see what the event was all about but that's okay. So that's it. It is simple, easy, and delicious. All right. It's the end of the day now, meaning it's time to take, take my makeup off and get ready for bed. I don't know why, but for some reason today, it's felt like, like two different after work plans came up and I never have plans come up after work. I don't know why. It's just like, Nobody ever wants to do things during the week because it's like mostly people just want to do things on the weekends when it's like, you know, you don't have to worry about waking up early the next day and doing the whole thing. But I've always said that I want to do things during the week more, more than just, you know, workout classes and stuff. But there was like that event and then Lyle texted me like an hour ago and was like, hey, do you want to grab a drink after work? And it's like... I mean, I'm kind of in for the night, but maybe another night we should do that. Um, so yeah, it's just so random. I feel like nothing ever, like, like <laughs> no plans ever come up. But then when they do, it's like all in one night. Kind of funny how that works. 
but yeah anyways so I think I'm just going to call it a night thank you so much for watching the first day of vlogmas definitely make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to be uploading a lot more regularly this month so um, if you're subscribed it'll be more likely that you won't miss a video um, so if you haven't subscribed yet definitely do and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram of course and hopefully I will see you guys in the next vlogmas <laughs> okay Bye.